Do any of you remember when I used to have Mac with me in all of my workouts out here, the ones on the floor on the mat? He's still kicking, so we brought him out. You do not have to stand up once for this workout. Your inner and outer thighs are gonna be toast. If you wanna elongate and shape your muscles with me today, just keep watching. Join me on the floor in a side lying position. For all of this stuff that's on our side, you can choose to have your head in your hand or your ear on your bicep or any variation of the two. Completely parallel with the feet, zipped up. We're gonna start a nice brisk pulse to the ceiling. Just to get some blood flow to the outer thighs, tell our bodies what we're working here today. As we progress for this long lying set, just be aware that we're not arching as we're laying on the mat, so belly button to spine. Tuck your hips under just a little bit. That's gonna keep you really locked in that line. A little bit slower and more intentional with this, with this lift. Lift, pull it down. Lift and hold, pull it down. Lift and hold, pull it down. Lift, pull. So see how if I'm not doing that active, it's just I'm not getting half the activation as if you're being really intentional. Back to that pulse, up, up. Now I'd always advise that you roll your hip just a little bit forward, almost so that you have to catch yourself with your top arm. You're really gonna feel the glute involvement here. We wanna go all the way down the leg. Okay, heel's gonna go to the back and then to the front. And I rotate my bottom heel as well. A little faster, circle, circle. We're just taking a little bit of internal and external rotation through the hip socket. A few more. Now don't worry, we're gonna point our feet in a second. My shin is already tired. Back to the slow ones, take it back. Try to really squeeze forward. We'll revisit those positions in a moment. Change positions here, knees at 45. We're gonna extend the top leg, not to 90 degrees today, but just to 45. Give me again a nice little pulse like we started with. This time a pointed foot. Abs are in tight, shoulders are down. I'm just for sake of variation. Gonna put my head on my bicep. Nice deep breaths. Slow circles back and around. Up, back and around. Up. And go ahead and look at your toes. You're scooping through the space. A little smaller, a little faster. Here, circle, circle. I'm looking at my kneecap, which I feel like doesn't have enough self tanner on it. Do you see that? I have like white kneecaps today. It's always kind of a trick. Reverse the circle, we're going forward and around. Core is still tight. We're, we're keeping the idea of feeling lifted, a little faster. Even though we're horizontal, we can still find a little bit of lift here. All right, flex the foot. We're gonna pull the thigh to the chest. It'll provide a little relief for the glute. One more slow, a little faster, and you're progressively giving some oomph and some length through the legs as we progressively get faster. That's what I was trying to say. Three, I'm burning real good on that top glute too. A little faster to finish, just tiny bend, press, press. Think about long sculpted muscles here, drive through the heel. Now we're gonna come up to the elbow, re-stack your knees all the way up to the elbow this time. Wrap the top leg behind, or we're gonna get elongate that. Make sure you're checking that you're not feeling stuck in your hip. So I elongate the bottom leg a little bit. Hand and forearm, we're gonna lift and lower. Lift, lower. So we're getting top of glute and outer thigh, it's so good. We don't wanna be parallel here. So really take the moment to externally rotate the thigh, lift through the abs and the ribs, a little faster. Press, press. So with each upward lift, as we do the other side too, I want you to think long so that it doesn't feel short. Eight more. Similar situation as our forward set, we're gonna do circles and bend press, and that's it for our outer thighs, okay? Little circle, back and around. Up, back and around. That gets kind of hard to hold. Up, back and around, little circle. Try not to let your knee get soft. Keep that lift through the chest. Reverse, this one's tough. Up, back and around, I'm shaking. Up, back and around. One more slow, eight fast, eight. Now we're gonna do the bend and press again. I want external rotation, I want shoulders back. Give me a little bit of that turnout. Bend, press. I'm trying to think about pushing my heel to the opposite shoulder here. Four more. Three, try to lift your leg. Your glute is gonna burn. A little faster and we're done. Give me 16. 
micro bends. How about just four more? It feels right. Four, three, two, one, and release. Ah. Now before we stretch, we're gonna swing it on over to the other side. We're still using this leg, but we're transferring to the inner thigh. Down to the elbow or ear on bicep. Top foot is gonna come across. So I don't have enough rotation to go flat foot. It doesn't feel good in my, my top hip. So I'm gonna go on dummy point. Lift and lower your bottom foot and let's check a few postural cues here. One is I don't want your toe or the top of your leg lifting. Take a moment to externally rotate again and keep a nice long line. So glance down your body, make sure everything is lined up. A little faster, press, press. If you have dogs or cats or kids to hang out with you, isn't it peaceful? This one's peaceful. We have another chocolate lab and his, his energy, we didn't need it today. Lift and hold, squeeze. He's not peaceful, lift and hold. So every time I'm lifting and holding, I wanna bring a little more focus to the core. Inner and outer thighs are great with the accompaniment of the core engagement. Okay, we're gonna lift and hold for eight, seven. Do not drop your foot even a little bit, your whole leg. Lift it higher, same ISO hold. Lift and hold, seven, six, five. I'm shaking a little bit, reach. You're gonna go higher up an inch, down an inch from there. Lift, lower, lift. Lower. Good, control it. Crank that inner thigh a little more. Woo. Two more slow. Here we go, double time little pulses. Try your best not to let the leg drop. This is really important. This set is not long, but it's good. Eight more, eight, seven. Now we're gonna try to circle to finish and bend press just like we did with that front and back variation. You can do it, circle back, little circle, circle. Push your hand into the floor as needed. Oh my gosh, reverse. Little circle, circle. Do what you need to do to get through this set. The bend and press is very small, 16 and we're done. 16, 15, 14, 13. Abs lifted, everything is super long. Five more, I'm trying to pick up that beat. Three, two, one. So let's sit up for a second. We're gonna start with a little butterfly just to ease out the inner thigh. Mm. And then the first leg that you did. So I did my right leg, but it might've looked like the left. Cross the leg that was lifting up over for a little figure four. Just a little stretch. And that's all we have to do on the other side. We have a little bit of an intermission at the end. Not an intermission, like a grand finale with some crossover beats some straddle action, so it's gonna be a good time. Remember this, down we go for that second side. Nice brisk lift to begin. Up, up. You're feeling confident, you're like, cool. That's it, I got it, it's a preview. I can make it through this, tuck the hips under, all this forward, little slower. Up, pull it down, up, pull. Picture, picture, up hold, down hold. Use your brain to tell your muscles how to move, up, pull, back to that pulse, press, nice and light. <sighs> Feels good though, exercise and work out on the floor. It's like literally one of my favorite things to do. You're gonna burn like crazy, but you don't have to stand up. How good is that? Okay, a little back, back, and a little front. Back, front, now back and hold, I'm off my phrase, I hear that in the music, a little faster forward. Thank you. You guys probably don't hear much of the music in the video, but if you've danced, you have that background, you know how important it is to be musical and on your phrase. Okay, slow again. Forward, back, forward, and back. Good, send those knees to 45 degrees. Extend the leg at 45. Little pulse, press, press. Now just a word. <laughs> Second side, sometimes your bottom hip, that medial glute and that outer thigh, they're already on, right? They're already very activated. So you kind of mentally have to just tell those muscles on that side not to contract, relax them. Little circle, back and around. Point the toes, stretch the kneecap, back and around. Little faster, little smaller, circle. Don't turn out here, it's gonna be funky on your hip flexors. Eight more, try to control up here. That's where that top hand can help. 
four, three, reverse your circle. <laughs> Getting real up, forward and around. Stretching through your legs, your toes, your joints. Everything long and strong, a little faster. Circle, 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 circle. All right, get ready to bend the knee, side of the chest. Bend and flex, press and stretch. One more super slow, bring it in. Woo. Stretch it out a little faster. Bend, press, inhale, exhale, inhale. If this forward arm doesn't work for you, take the hand to the booty a little faster. 15, 14, 13, stretch. So see how the difference is? I can kind of kick my leg out or keep it active. Seven, six, five, four. Last thing is that sweep to arabesque. <sighs> Come up to the forearm, wrap the leg behind, stretch it out, fix that bottom hip as needed. Lift and lower, lift, lower. I'm gonna pull up my top a little bit, lift. Lower. So personally, I like the bottom forearm and the top hand. You can come all the way to two forearms, but it's a little bit easy to slouch. I like the lift of that hand. Little pulse, press, press. Check that you're not internally rotated. It's not gonna be good for you. Turn it out, squeeze. Press like there's a little ball or balloon underneath your ribs. Ah. Slow circles up, back and around. Up, back and around. It burns so good. Long toes, like a dancer. A little faster, circle. Doesn't have to be high to be done right. <sighs> Reverse your circle, this one's tricky. Back and around. Use your own strength, find it. Settle into it, a little faster. Eight, seven. Remember this finish. We're gonna take that bend and press, turn out the knee. Then push. I'm trying to push towards my opposite shoulder. A little faster. Okay, I'm feeling fresher on this side, so let's throw in an extra phrase, shall we? 10, nine, final eight. Eight, seven, open the chest, lift the leg, higher, higher, higher. Four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, save the stretch. Let's hit the inner thigh first. Oh, cross over your top leg. I like the ankle grab. You can choose what you want to do. Heel high on the bottom. Nice and easy. Watch that your top hip doesn't pitch back here. That's pretty common. Lift and a little faster. So get comfy, do your little checks. Hips forward, glutes are tight. Long toes, long knees, long ankles. Okay, here's our first little set of lift and holds. We're easing it, lift and hold. Lift and hold. I think I like this head down. I feel like I can lift my ribs a little more. <sighs> lift stay. The stays are always just the hardest. Okay, we're lifting and hold for eight counts. Remember this one? Lift and stay. Eight, seven, six. Don't drop your leg no matter what. <sighs> if anything, you're gonna lift higher on this next phrase. Lift higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. From there, up an inch, down an inch. Crank that inner thigh. You can do it. Lift. Lower, <laughs> lift and lower. Do you ever start laughing? Cause it's just so hard. Lift, lower. Get on the, on the beat, on the music, the meat. Lift, <sighs> a little faster, here we go. Seven more, we're gonna circle. <sighs> I've been making a lot of faces, yeah, lately. I need to relax my face, little circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Ooh, reverse. Eight. Oh my gosh, my leg's gonna fall off. Six, four. Okay, a little bit impressed. We have 16, just like that other side. 16, 15. Try not to make faces like I am. Oh. 10, nine. Lift it higher, higher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ah. Okay, quick little stretch. We're gonna finish with just our little straddle series. Just a few little beats. Woo! So cross your working leg that was doing the outer thigh. <sighs> to get more stretch here, just elongate through the sternum. Okay, let's finish this out flat. I'm gonna scoot this way so I don't hit my weights here. 
laying flat. Now you can totally take your hands by your sides or underneath your hips. Legs up the wall, we're gonna rotate externally. And then find a little cross, this happens up in your thighs. Cross. So if you're bent legs, it's gonna be like a bunch of dead fish up here. We don't want that. Pull your abs in and cross up at the upper leg, the upper thigh. Cross, a little faster. Cross. Remember that little lift we did at the beginning, that squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, same thing. Now I'm just gonna drop down about an inch or two just to get the core firing. A little faster, ready? Squeeze, cross, cross. And that cross is still trying to happen in the upper thighs. We're gonna go cross, cross, open, ready? Cross, cross, open, cross, cross, open. We're doing these quick to start because I don't want you to whack your legs yet. You can alternate which leg crosses. Okay, slower and bigger, ready? Cross, cross, all the way open. Squeeze, cross, cross, take it slow. Squeeze, cross, cross, open. Squeeze, cross. Okay, now bring them together. You're just gonna go as fast as you can. Cross, cross, open. So I am asking you to ignore the music. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross. Whoa. Okay, just crisscrosses to the finish here. 16, 15, 14, 13. If you can lower it a little bit on that diagonal, go ahead and do so. We need 16 more. Just feels right. 16, 15. You more and you're done with this little workout. Four, three, two, one, relax. Good job. My inner thighs are feeling it, as well as my outer thighs. Open the knees to the armpits or the ribs. Let's take a little happy baby, a little straddle stretch, and you're out. So hip mobility and strength, inner and outer thighs, is so important. We tend to strengthen a little more in the outer thighs, not the inner thighs. And we don't want to do that. We want to be well balanced, adductors and abductors. Find a little straddle stretch, hold. And that is it for today's workout. Thanks for helping, Mac. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that felt amazing on your legs. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future, and have a great one.